Hello and welcome to the devotion for Monday, January the 28th, entitled, Impatiently Waiting. Now, one of the virtues that we as Americans do not have is patience to wait for things. We want everything instant. We want to get everything next day. We want to be able to order it and have it tomorrow. And we don't wait for things very well at all. And yet, for God to do the best things in our life, Many times we have to wait for him to work it into its perfect time, into its perfect place. Now, Sunday morning we looked at Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we looked at God's promises to Abraham, but they were not promises that were going to be revealed instantly, quickly. He was told he was going to be the father of many nations, but he had no son. He was told that he was going to possess all the land around him, and yet he didn't possess it yet. All these promises out before him of who he could become, what God had destined for him, and yet he had to wait for it. And we see that he gets impatient, and he tries to do it in his own way, in his own strength. And what he creates is chaos. He doesn't have the ability or the discipline to wait on the Lord. It's it's a challenge. It's a challenge for every single one of us. Saul who was the first king of Israel, was rejected by God and David anointed in his place for one simple reason. He couldn't wait. Twice when he was told to wait on the prophet, to pray over the battle that he was going in, both times he got impatient and did the prayers himself because he was afraid that it would be too late. And both times when the prophet showed up, he said, why did you not wait as the Lord told you to? And he was rejected as king because he simply could not wait on the right time. As we look in Galatians 6, 9, it says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for in the proper time we will reap a harvest if we don't give up. Now, the passage says it that way because we give up. We go, it's taking so long. God is not... Every one of us have to understand that God is working things for our good. It says he works together for good, those who are called according to his purpose. And usually it's bigger than we think. There are more pieces than we see. And when we become impatient, we hurry what God is trying to do in perfection. Uh, Habakkuk 2.3 says this, for the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not be proven false. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. Again, he goes, this revelation that I've given you, it is coming, but don't get impatient. Though it linger, though it take a moment, though it takes a while, hold fast. It is coming. As we look at Abraham's life, and I'm so thankful that God can redeem even the places where we become anxious, but it also created a lot of heartache. He wasn't disciplined enough to wait, to let God work that thing together. And sometimes there's things going on that we can't even see, struggles and battles that God is working on to make it possible for this great thing to happen. In Daniel 10, 12, I love this passage. It says, Daniel has been praying for wisdom and yet nothing, nothing, nothing. He's been praying and praying and praying and still no word from God. And in Daniel 10, 12, it says, since the first day, that you set your mind to gain understanding and you humbled yourself before God, your words were heard the first day. But I have, and I have come in response to them, but the prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me 21 days. Then the Michael, one of the chief princes, came to rescue me because I was detained by the king of Persia. Now I have come to explain to you what will happen to the people in the future and the vision of what is yet to come. So Daniel's praying and he's praying and he's praying and nothing seems to be happening. And we hear that the message was heard on the first day. God responded that very moment. But there was, the, there was this battle going on between where you are and the answer that was coming to give you. And it took time because even the archangel Michael had to come and fight in my defense so that I could come to you. But you were heard the very first day. It is our nature to be impatient. But the best things come, the virtue comes in our ability to wait on the Lord. 
Scripture says they that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. But we have to wait on the Lord. We have to wait until he brings about that. Because when we try to do it in our own strength, we always end up with chaos. And he's going, let me work in and through you. Let me do this in the proper time. I know for me, you know, uh, when I was a kid, uh, I was always so impatient. I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to read instructions. I didn't, I, you know, I just wanted to jump in there and do it. And so many times it had to, it took twice as long to redo things that I did because I could not wait. The Bible says patience is a virtue, but it takes a long time to learn it. It's, it's a frustrating thing because I have to be patient to learn to be patient. I have to understand that God is not slow in keeping his promises, but he's patient, not willing for anyone to perish, but for everyone to come to a place of repentance. I've got to learn how to trust God enough to be willing to wait. Let's pray. Father, Lord, waiting is not something we're good at. Our impatience is part of our fallen human nature. But Lord, I know that you are working. That when we pray, just like Daniel, you hear us at that very first moment. Lord, give us the ability, the discipline, the trust in you that we won't run ahead, that we will wait, that we will pray, that we will let you train us and grow us and discipline us, and knowing that as we wait, you are at work. And Lord, give us the ability to fight off that temptation to try to do it in our own strength because we want it now rather than being patient and letting you do your work through us. Lord, I thank you for the many times that I was impatient and wanted to get things done only to step back and realize that it wasn't the proper time. Things needed to happen before that would work perfectly. And Lord, I thank you that you work and you will toward our best interest and that you're patient because you want the best for us. Lord, help us to be patient so that we can see your hand at work in our lives. Do that so that we will be able to be in concert with you. Help us to grow in our trust and in our patience. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I encourage you. If you pray, God hears you at that first instance. Stay faithful in prayer. As he said, We will reap a harvest if we don't give up, if we don't become impatient and grow weary. He said that that revelation that he wants to give, even if it lingers, hold on to it. God has not forgotten you. And I'll see you tomorrow.